kitchen. Today I will be making Swedish meatballs. Um, this is a recipe that I got from a neighbor of mine and I couldn't believe that it worked when she told me about it but they are excellent. So the first thing we're going to do is add one can it's uh, 10 and a half ounces of cream of celery. You can also use cream of mushroom. Add that to the pot. And then we're gonna do three quarters of a cup of water. And a half a bag of Lipton onion soup. We're going to use half of it in the gravy and half of it in our meatballs. Just kind of eyeball it. And we're going to turn that on medium low heat and whisk it together. Okay, while we're waiting for this to come to a simmer, I'm going to make my meatballs. I'm going to add one pound of hamburger. One egg. pinch of pepper, just a couple shakes of garlic powder, and a couple shakes of onion powder, and the other half of our Lipton onion soup mix. And then I'm going to take seven saltine crackers and put them in a baggie. And smash them all up. Okay, we have them all smashed up. You want them the consistency of breadcrumbs. And dump that in. And then we're going to mix all that together. It's easier to do with your hands, but messy. All right. Our Hamburg mixture is all mixed together. Now we're just going to take and make kind of small balls, about three quarters of an inch to an inch maybe. And just roll all of your meat mixture. Okay, the meatballs are all done, and our gravy mixture has come to a simmer, and we're just going to put the meatballs in raw, and they will cook in this gravy. And I'm just going to give it a stir to make sure all the meatballs are coated. And 
then we're gonna cover them and cook them for 45 minutes to an hour on just a simmer. You don't want to boil them, um, but you do want a few bubbles. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes and our meatballs are just at a very low simmer. Just want to gently stir them and make sure that they're all still coated in the gravy. And put the cover on and I will check them in about 15 minutes. Okay, it's been another 15 minutes, so half an hour total. And we're just going to give our meatballs another stir, just so they don't stick to the bottom. And just make sure they're covered. And we'll put the cover back on. Okay, so it's been another 20 minutes, so 55 minutes total. I'm just going to check the temperature of the meatballs. They should be at least 160, 165, and these are 173, so they are done. Give them a good stir. And then put them in a serving bowl. And there it is. You can serve these over rice or noodles or mashed potatoes or just have them with mashed potatoes and a vegetable. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you try them and I will see you on the next one.